Welcome back. Hope everybody had a nice holiday season. Uh, you know, didn't record much last week. Christmas was going on, and family all over the place. We had all kinds of stuff going on in the house, and I just didn't have the time to uh, pull out the video gear. And you know, most of the cooking we did, we did breakfast for Christmas, breakfast burrito bar. Oh, it came out great. And for Christmas Eve, everything got kind of canceled, so we just did some uh, like a quick little appetizer night here at home. Um, so this is kind of the first thing I've really cooked in a couple of days, and I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm excited because we found this like mixed shrimp, mixed seafood bag at Aldi. It's got shrimp, it has a uh, scallop, it has some uh, mussels in it, it's got some calamari all mixed in together. Uh, I've done this sauce before, which is shrimp and scallop or shrimp and crab. It comes out great. The sauce is fantastic, and it's a great way to lend flavor to these and, and kind of complement any seafood you want to put in it. Um, basically, it, I'm going to cook down some shallot, add in some butter and some, um, some white wine, reduce that white wine down. I'm going to add some fresh tomato and some garlic and a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese and put in a little pasta water and dump the pasta in. Real quick, comes together really quickly. So it's a great weeknight thing. If as long as you have the seafood kind of defrosted, this is fantastic. You can do this in like 15 minutes. All right. Anyway, let's do a hot. Started. First thing to do to a hot skillet, a little bit of olive oil. You use the good stuff here. It's going to be kind of a foundation for the sauce. And add in your shallot. Some crushed red pepper. Some salt, pepper, garlic powder. Be generous with the salt. As soon as that comes to a boil, we'll drop in the pasta. I'm using angel here. here. When our shallots are getting translucent and or aromatic, go ahead and dump in some garlic and some diced tomato. I use fresh dice. You can use a can if you want. When you can smell the garlic, I guess, is kind of where you're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to just add in some uh, white wine. I'm also going to drop in some parsley. And some basil. So, so it's soft right now. That's kind of what we're working right now. We're going to go ahead and add in the wine. And we'll let that reduce down by a little bit better than half. While that's reducing, we're going to go ahead over here and add in some uh, angel hair pasta. This should be enough. Some status update there. That's kind of where we're at. It's almost there. A little bit more butter, juice of a lemon, just some of the lemon. I'm going to kill the heat on the pasta now. The pasta is close enough to drop over. So don't have to worry about draining it all the way because we want some of that pasta water anyway. So from here, we're going to kill the heat and drop in a good bit of uh, that freshly grated cheese. We just want to work everything together. And right, there you have it. 15 minute seafood pasta. This is fantastic. Great for weeknights, great for anytime you just don't want to spend a lot of time cooking. You just got to have some seafood on hand. And you do this with any seafood. Just shrimp, shrimp and scallop, any seafood. This works great for. It's easy. One serving is... 543 calories, or 540 plus calories, not much more, give or take, depending on the butter you use, I guess, and the kind of wine you use. 